All right, so we'll start outside. Here's my view. Here's the door. And we will walk in. Currently, it is golden hour. The apartment has never looked better. And in this crevice, I keep my running shoes. And to my right, we have this closet. And unfortunately, only one side actually has storage. And the other side is all hollow, I think. And I keep all of my clothing over here. Yep, these are all my clothes from two months in Milan. I'm sort of getting tired of my wardrobe, but I can't really accumulate too much and two luggages while I'm here for three months. And so these are my t-shirts. These are blouses and turtlenecks if you guys are interested. We have some pants down here and more pants and skirt. And over here I have all of my cameras. And I actually travel with so many cameras. It's pretty crazy. Um, this is my EOS Rebel G. I always forget like what the name is of this camera. And I have my waterproof camera just in case I need it for any spontaneous trip to the beach or something. Um, I have my whole stockpile of film. It's mostly black and white and then I have some color rolls in there. Um, and then in here I have my DSLR camera. So that is this little cabinet. And continuing over here, so this is the little control panel thing. This button, I think, is for turning on the hot water. And here's my bathroom. It reminds me of a bathroom on a cruise ship because you have to like step up on it. And this shower head, if you look at my height, is too short for me. So sometimes, low key, I just sit down in the shower and <laughs> it feels, it's so weird, but you know, it works, it works. Um, so this little um, switch is for this side, if it's turned on, it's for the sink. And then the other side, if you switch it, it's for the shower head. So very functional and yep. So here's all my skincare stuff. So that's my bathroom. Here is my kitchen. So we have a hot plate situation over here. Um, this is my stove. So I translated this earlier this morning because I used the stove for the first time. And this is power, this is heat. Okay, in here I have a pan and it heats up only when the pan is on the hot plate. Um, but earlier I was freaking out because understand all this and I was like I don't want my house to be on fire because this apparently says like warning could cause fire if you keep stuff down there so he said okay and then he, he mad he mad mad he extra mad so over here we have a nice stash of plates and bowls Nothing much, no mul no multiple plates or bowls. I actually don't have any plates, but this is like a, I don't know what to call this, but it's a short bowl. And here's a bigger bowl. I got this mug from Daiso the other day, so I use it to make my tea and everything. And cup, obviously, you can see for yourself and more utensils. Yeah, everything's so fresh, new, and I'm very satisfied with the condition of this little space and I'm so glad that I have the space to my own. Um, this is hand sanitizer, it's straight up just alcohol, it like um, doesn't have a scent or anything, dish soap. This actually smells pretty good. Um, this is like the cutting board, yep. But then here's my tiny pantry, um, got a knife and some foods in there. Awesome. I'm really making this a long tour, even though it's such a small space. So over here is my mini fridge, and this also doubles as my counter space. Um, here's the tea I was drinking earlier, scrumptious. Um, here's like a hot water heater, and I got my tea stash over here, my vitamins. Gotta take those vitamins in the, in the morning ladies <laughs> and then my freezer currently nothing in there and then fridge this is my grocery haul yum 
veggies. Actually, I wish I could get some fruit, but fruit are, is so expensive here in Japan. So I managed with some bananas. These were like, honestly, maybe $3, but a lot cheaper than um, the strawberries that I've seen. They're, they can go up to like $38, $50 or something. And then I got some eggs and all that stuff. Veggies. Trash, trash. And over here, we got my little clothes rack and I keep my pajamas over here, my umbrella and some coats laundry bag and over here this is my casting bag those are my heels and my backpack which honestly is sort of falling apart we have my little table um everything is all collapsible also i forgot to say this is um a foldable chair that i usually have out here but i just like fold it up to have more space um but i'll sit here and like get ready for my castings and I got some miscellaneous things, a hairbrush, um, straightener, and my tiny hair dryer. This is like a lifesaver, honestly, when I just need to like blow dry my fringe and get it all in place. Cause my hair is pretty short, so I don't really need to blow dry it all that much. But um, this is good for traveling because it takes up maybe like a quarter of the size of a regular hair dryer. And I honestly don't know where I got this, probably from like a hotel or something, but who knows. Uh, yep. And then here's my full length mirror. Pretty good mirror, very simple. I love how everything in here is very minimal. Here's my view from here. Oh my gosh, during golden hour, it looks so beautiful. I'll actually go outside. But um, what's so nice about these curtains, um, it does block out a lot of the sunlight when I go to sleep, but it has this little, um, what do I call this? closure thing um so it's very neat and satisfying and also the sun is leaving us so better hurry up here we go out and there's also a little it's very windy out so beware um wow so currently the apartment is in shibuya so it's a very good location there we go you can see the sunset from here wow gorgeous And here's where I dry my clothes. Very handy for socks and all that stuff. In we go. And over here is my wonderful marshmallow bed. I could honestly sleep here all day. My first night sleeping in this bed, I did not want to wake up because I was so comfy. This bed has got to be one of the most comfy model apartment beds I've ever slept in. And so it has this really comfy comforter. And, oops. And then the mattress is on top of like this box spring, um, but it's basically just a giant pillow and it's so nice. And this pillow is also like, I think, some type of memory foamness stuff, um, but so comfy, so nice. Um, here's my luggage, obviously, and got my laptop over here, and that is where I sleep! <laughs> Yay! Here's a phone, haven't used it before, and finally, we got this tiny It's Bitsy closet. You can size comparison with my hand. They make everything so tiny in Japan, and very practical. Um, this is where I keep a couple other jackets. Very nice. I keep some books over here, um, my art supplies and accessories, speaker. And down here, a lot of miscellaneous things and some shoes. So that is that space. Oh wait, I forgot about this door. This is, I, you guys, I'm not ready for what is in here. Unlike other model apartments, which usually have you pay for washing your clothes, you know, to go to the laundromat or to go downstairs and like put some coins in a laundry machine and, you know, do that. Well, and here is my very own washing machine. I have never been more happy in my life, but um, this is gonna be so handy for the next three months. Um, I even brought my own laundry detergent. It's pretty dark in here, but um, I was planning on using laundry detergent when I was in Milan, but 
wasn't able to because they made me pay for laundry and they already had laundry detergent. But just another thing I'm happy for. You really know I'm a real adult when I get excited over having a laundry machine in my house, in my apartment. I'm back to the apple tea and I hope you guys enjoyed my Japan micro apartment tour. <laughs>